Hey guys, so I'm here with my monthly favorites and this is my October favorites. So I don't have too many things only because I've been buying a lot of things and just trying random stuff. But these are the things that I've been reaching for the most. So first thing is, um, because now it's getting colder, my skin is getting really, really dry. So I picked this oil up. This is the Ellen Tracy Intense Deep Wrinkle Serum. I got it at, I want to say, TJ Maxx. It was about, I think it was about five or six bucks. And I've been loving to put the serum on and then go over that because my skin just sucks it in. Um, I also picked up this. This is from one of those um, nature kind of things. Um, it's an anti-aging day cream with Dead Sea Minerals. So this is the packaging. This was also about six bucks. And it's just like a creamy, it's a thick creamy um, lotion. So I've been loving mixing this. Well, not mixing it, putting on this first and going on top of it with this. It just gives my face like a silky, soft kind of feel around the corners here and around here. I do get dry. So with this, I haven't seen that. So I picked that up, both of them at TJ Maxx. So for foundation, again, because my skin has been getting dry, I've been reaching for my Sephora Taint Infused. Um, this is really um, oily. And I've been mixing it with this Sephora. Um, this is the 10 hour wear um, foundation. This one I feel like it's kind of thick. So mixing the two, I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. It isn't too um, greasy feeling or too matte feeling. It's like that perfect center. So I've been loving these two. And um, today I have on the Revlon Airbrush Effects Photo Ready in Golden Beige. So this also feels kind of... Um, I think this is good for like dry skin it feels really nice on the skin it isn't like I don't feel like it's gonna make me look dewy or anything but it is gonna give me some kind of um, moisture feel or look like at least my face is nicely um, moistened or whatever so I've been loving these foundations so for my eyebrows you guys know I like to use um, either the elf oh either the elf um gel in black or this one is in rimmel this one already dried out so i've been picking up these um pencils this one is from which one is this the l'oreal brow style definer and this one is in dark brunette and then i picked up this one which is alme which is also a nice um thin thin point but you know these are like dark brown and I want my brows to be not jet black but you know dark so I ran out of the um, gel and this one dried out so the other day I was going through my um, NYC palettes looking for like a cranberry color and I noticed which I don't think I've noticed before that they bring these black gel um, liners so I've been using one of the um, wet n wild really thin angled brow pen um, brushes and I'm just brushing it um, shaping out my brow combing it out a little bit and then finishing it with the pencil and love how it looks it's what I did this morning and um, it's like that mixture of black and brown but more towards black so that's what I have on my eyebrows and then I just comb it out um, kind of like to mix them together and I love how they've been looking they're not like jet black but they're black and since I did dye my hair a blue black you know it kind of it fits it kind of like I don't know so blush um, since I moved my room around I've been finding things that I put away for a while so this is the NYC bronzer in Sunny, and it's the perfect bronzing color. It's like that, um, 
perfect I don't know warm color without being too orange so I love this I've been using it non-stop and for days where I'm not wearing blush but I want some kind of tint I've been going over it with the um, Benefit Dallas which is like a brown but it's kind of it has like a kind of pinky brown kind of look to it so I've been loving that and you know when you when I move around my room I find so many things and I hate to be that person that buys all this stuff puts it away and that's it like I'll tell you what I bought and then that's it like I want to see it I want to use it I want to you know remember why I liked it and why I bought it so um I've been re trying to re um use old things and um you know just using up what I have and so I've been loving that so blushes I picked up these Milani um pow powder blush the ones with the flower shape this one is in one romantic rose and eight tea rose. So I've been using these two nonstop. And I have a bunch of like, you know, um, like palettes that I pick up constantly like this one. Um, these are perfect colors here. And this one for now the fall. I picked this one up I think at Burlington. And um... I put it away and recently I, when I moved everything around I've been using a lot of different things but these two because they're at arm's length I've been using non-stop for mascara I have a few that are opened um, I have this one that's almost finished this is the Jordana best lash extreme but the lid the top broke so it's not closing eventually it'll dry out so I'm trying to use that up before it dries out but I've also been loving this volume accelerator from Rimmel. It's what I have on my eyes today. On my eyes, on my lashes. It's the only thing I have on. And I don't know if you can see, but um, they do a nice job at lengthening. They do a nice job at separating. It isn't like that spider kind of look. You know, I go over it and over and over it because I want it dark. You know, this is... Um, extreme black but it's like a basic black like it isn't like dark dark the way I want it to be dark dark but I do love the way it separates and lengthens my lashes so I've been loving this I got this modern renaissance palette um, last month around my birthday um, and it's it's a great palette it's got perfect fall colors you've got your nudes it's just like everything you would need around this time of the year your cranberries, your browns, your brow colors, your highlight color. I mean, not highlight color, um, brow bone color, you know, your warm orangey nude colors. So I've been using it nonstop. And I'm sure you can find these colors in other palettes. But the fact that they're all together, great, great, great palette. Now, I was thinking of getting the, um, the Mario palette. And I saw it, I swatched it, and... It's kind of the same thing as this. Like, I kind of feel like it's the exact same kind of colors. Uh, maybe not dupes, but the exact shades and stuff. So I'm not picking that one up. Um, I think if you needed to pick either one, I would tell you to go with this one. Um, but again, if you're a makeup junkie and you just want it for your collection, go ahead. I'm not picking it up. Really happy with this one, and I think it's the same as that one. So... So for lips, I've been loving the Cocoa Butter Vaseline. I, I have three of them. I have one in my purse. I have one here, one um, next to my bed. And it just, it's, you know, some of the chapstick I feel like they're just for like a little glossy look kind of thing. They're not really moisturizing. This is perfect. It leaves your lips just so perfect. And now with all the, um liquid lipsticks and all these matte colors that are so drying on the lips I think you need that in your life um so that is it you know not much this month 
um, my decor that I've been doing, that I've been working on my room. Let me, ooh, turn it this way so you can see. Ugh. Um, my Buddha, my new glasses, my this area here that I've been working on. I've been buying a lot of home decor items. And, um, you know, I'm trying to fix this room. I'm trying to get it the way I want it. I still have this side over here to work on. But I haven't really been buying much makeup. I've been buying a lot of home decor. I've already gotten pillows and stuff for my living room. So that is my concentration right now is getting my house ready for the holidays. Um, picking up... <clears throat> like hay and stuff to put outside pumpkin decorations and you know fall kind of stuff and then something I can transition into like the holidays so that's what I've been looking at right now it's what I have on my mind um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you did please give it a thumbs up like subscribe I'd love for you to join the family and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys